so I'm around eight miles into this run now. Just stopped here because it's windy and it's sheltered. And there's daffodils everywhere. Right, I'll catch you later. How do peeps? Yes, it's me. Yes, I'm running. I'm always bloody running. Anyhow, today's run up here around a bit over 10 miles. Back time to get home, so I'm going to cool down now. It's not been the end of the week that I wanted. I'm still quite tired, legs are tired as well. Got quite a few weights of pain. Uh, my lower back, my quads, and my, uh, my knees are hurting today as well. My right knee, especially. But that's by the bag. Anyhow, so last week and the week before, as you know, I've been helping uh, this young lad build up his fitness, get his, uh, um, get him into running as he's for his job requirements. He has to meet a certain a certain standard of fitness. Uh, at the beginning, he was doing 17, 16 minute mileing, uh, running, stopping, walking, uh, stuff like that. So. I made small changes to his run, how he runs, starting off with a run walk in the first week, then getting slowly increased that distance, then as he stuck with it, I advised him to get some uh, different trainers to run in, we did that, that improved him, his running. Uh, then I gradually increased the gap between the runs and the walks. So to keep it at a, a pace that he was comfortable at. And then challenged him to a mile without stopping. He did that. Then after he got to that was a mile without stopping. And then a run walk and so on and so forth. Anyhow, so on Friday, well, we did a, a time trial, I think it was on Wednesday or Thursday, and he was just over 11 minutes, I think it was, so not quite there. And then on Friday, in the evening after this work, took him out on a three-mile loop, and the uh, first mile he did was around 10 minutes, which is uh, a massive improvement in such a short period of time. And I just told him it's your mindset, got to turn that I can into I can and just have that little bit of robustness, gentle robustness and dig in, dig a little bit deep, look inside yourself and just find that, that grit. And he did, and he was determined and he deserves all the plaudits because he's the one that's done the work. So well done. And uh, we're going to carry on into a little bit of threshold. So next week will be uh, split runs, I think. Uh, uh, faster pace, a recovery, faster pace, recovery, if you know what I mean. So that's the plans for next week and my own runs as well. But tomorrow I'm going to be selfish. I'm going to run to the pool, do a swim and then uh, run back uh, tomorrow. He'll have to crack on on his own tomorrow. I've got because I'm missing out on my own little uh, my own little fitness route, routines anyhow. So that's enough waffle and fun from me. Hi, Pete. So, oh, little over ten and a half miles. Still got about four hundred meters to go. All right, catch us later. See you later.